Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing ED visas or education visas here in Thailand. For those who are unaware, yeah, it is possible what we would call sort of a student visa back in the United States, category F1 student visa. There is a, there's sort of a similar, if you will, counterpart to that type of visa in Thailand called the ED visa or education visa. As I've discussed at length in many other videos, ED visas kind of, depending on their, the sort of context of the ED visa, it may be very, very reputable, but they've been sort of known to be somewhat sh quote unquote shady over the years because a number of folks use education in Thailand as simply a pretext or more precise a term might be pretense of you know, a reason to go ahead as a pretense to get an ED visa, to get an education visa, i.e. they're not really doing what, they're say, what they say they're doing. Which brings me to the, re the reason I thought of making this video was a quote from a recent, vid uh, recent article in the Pati Mail, that's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Thai government denies dangers from visa-free policy, quoting directly, Worries had been raised formally by Senate members noting recent scandals involving Chinese nationals ignoring work permit regulations or enrolling expensively at Thai language schools simply to extend their stay without any intention of learning. Yeah, that's a very fair point. We've seen a number of this. I remember when Big Joke, number of incidences of this, I should say, I remember when Big Joke was heading Thai immigration, it seemed like not a week went by there within one year where there wasn't some kind of crackdown where they were rolling up the paddy wagon, if you will, the immigration detention bus, the vans or whatever that they use. Actually, with the Thai police, they have like these trucks that they put like a topper on that, you know, it's basically a cage in the back. It's like a song towel, but it's, in, it's enclosed. And then they put people in there and drive them off to the, to the jail or the detention center or wherever. But long story short, it didn't seem like a week went by that there wasn't some crackdown at these, at these education facilities, these schools, these language facilities oftentimes. Again, Thai senators seem to be rather concerned about this, and when policymakers show their concern, you know, generally speaking, regulators listen. What does this mean? I don't know, but I would not count out the possibility that down the road we could see more scrutiny associated with the ED visa, to say the least. It could go... You know, again, I can remember when Big Joke was running crackdowns and arresting people at language institutes and things because they were ostensibly, or at least the reason given, was that they were not engaging in any language school. They were just using the visas to maintain their status, and they weren't really doing what they said they were doing, essentially citing that they were fraudulently obtaining the visas. Could this happen again? Remains to be seen, but we'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.